Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the expansion of the toll roads in Jamaica. <clears throat> now it's going to be a two part video. The first part we're going to talk about the announced plans to expand the toll roads in Jamaica, the toll highways, that's Highway 2000. And then the second part will be what additional expansion is needed not expansion that has not been officially announced yet but what we think should be done with the further expansion of the highway so highway 2000 is the toll roads in jamaica basically you go through the toll plazas you pay toll and you're going to just like all over the world Highway 2000 has two main sections. East-West leg, which takes you from Kingston to Mandeville. That section is finished, it's up and running. And then Highway 2000 North-South leg, which takes you from Kingston to Ocherios. Now, those roads are finished, they're up and running, they are, you pay toll, you use them. Now, it was announced, okay, the, east-west leg of highway 2000 was to go to montego bay so everybody knows that that road is going to be built in sections to reach montego bay now the king the mandeville to saint elizabeth leg of the highway was announced i think it was last year that they're going to be building it from williamsfield in manchester where the current highway ends to hodges in saint elizabeth that was announced last year <clears throat> and it's going to be a toll road because remember that road the east west leg road was to go to saint elizabeth and then cut over the hill and go to montego bay so that alignment is set the road will go to saint elizabeth and then from saint elizabeth to mount Pelier and then mount Pelier into montego bay that has been announced we know about that Okay, look at this bus. This must be one of the new. That's the nuts for the express. I'm never it's first time seeing the double decker set. Okay, so now two major announcements were made, I think, within the last couple weeks about Highway 2000. Highway 2000 is now going to go from St. Elizabeth to Negril. That alignment was never in the original original design of the road so that's a new alignment that is going to be done and also highway 2000 north south leg is going to go from Ocherios to Trelawney that also was never in the original alignment so those are two additional sections of the road to be built which is great Jamaicans use the highway I mean the highways make money through the toll which they use to maintain them and they have agreements in place or not agreements but public private partnerships work well in the building of these highways so the funding to build these highways is not really a problem i think they have more of a problem in they have no problem basically these highways make billions of dollars, so build them out. Now, they've started working on the Mandeville. This, we're going to talk about the east-west leg now. We are actually on Highway 2000 north-south leg. That's the section we are driving on now. The section that takes, the road that takes you from Kingston to Ocho Rios, Or more specifically, Miami Bay in St. Anne. Now, they're building out these roads slowly. They are now working on the Mandeville to St. Elizabeth leg, which is going to take an average five years. The government said they're going to try and do it in four, but the, you have to align the road. You have to get, I don't think the funding will be a problem, but you have to identify a partner. You have to go through a bidding process. You don't just give it to X person. It's a bidding process and it takes time. 
but they are now in that process and then when they are finished with that leg let's say five years they will then look to build the other leg from well they would have to build to Mount Pelio from St. Elizabeth to Mount Pelio and then the Mount Pelio to Montego Bay leg is being worked on now sections of it so it's going to take time and then on average each leg the way they're doing it takes about five years this is the Miami Bay toll plaza we're coming up to now so it takes time so at the rate they're going they can finish the road can reach a St. Elizabeth in five years and then probably another five years from St. Elizabeth to Mount Pelio and another five years to Negril. It takes time. So that was one of the major announcements that was made that the highway would go from St. Elizabeth to Negril. The second major announcement that was made is that the north-south leg will go from Miami Bay or to Trelawney. Basically the road will continue from Ocho Rios to Trelawney. Here you go. So that is the major, two major announcements. The road would go from St. Elizabeth to Negril and the road would also go from Ocho Rios to Trelawney. So that's good because Jamaica needs the highways. So I think it's an excellent idea. I just wish they would build them quicker, faster. All right, guys, leave your comments in the section below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day.